The Rockets owner, Tillman Fertitta, told reporters the team's unofficial defensive coordinator, certainly their longtime assistant, Jeff Bedzelik, is returning to the sidelines. Now, you may remember he retired just before the start of training camp. Mike D'Antonio was on uh, Zach Lowe's podcast the other day and said it was a surprise even to him, but they were just very straightforward about it. He had some family stuff and time he wanted to spend there. Now, apparently, you got to give credit to Fertitta, who apparently has been in talks with him, according to Jonathan Fagan, for this entire time. Mm -hmm. Wanted him to come back. You saw just flash up on the screen there, Houston's defensive struggles. I mean, how much is this going to actually help? Marginally. I think there's two things at play here. Number one is it's a personnel issue. They lost good defensive players. They replaced them with not good defensive That's players. Right. right. That's first and foremost. Mark D'Antoni would be the first one to tell you, you want an elite defense, give me elite defensive players, right. and I'll make it happen. The other thing, though, is let's just assume that he will have some sort of impact, say, hey, this is what we've been doing. We need to tweak it, do whatever. Season started. And, uh, you know, as I highlighted for the Lakers schedule, they had a, a fortuitous nice soft spot. The, the Rockets don't have that. So there's not a whole lot of time to put in And by the way, he's not coming back stuff. today. Yeah. The reports all say, including from, uh, from Woj, that, that he's not coming back to the end of the month. Right. I want to know what kind of deal he drove here. No. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm... Man. Why well, you got to go there, man? I think it's great. Super interesting. Oh, that's not right, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe he had the itch. Maybe he had the itch. <laughs> no, 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 no. He could itch or no itch, itching. Well, that's a whole different topic. But um, <laughs> whatever he had, I guess he was in a good bargain, bargaining position. Leverage, baby, leverage. Oh. And with every 140-point game they gave up, um, look, the Warriors, when they saw what happened this summer and they saw that Maba Mute and Ariza left... The Warriors' smiles had to be so big. And until they get those uh, players like that back, or even one of them like that back, I don't know if we can see the Rockets, the same Rockets we did last year. And I don't think that's on Jeff Bezdelic or Mike D'Antoni. It's just on the circumstances. You talked about July 10th. We knew these problems were apparent for the Lakers. This is, this is my version of that. We knew as soon as those two guys went out the door, the Rockets were not going to be a good defensive team. And everyone said, oh, it'll be fine. I don't understand. Well, no, no. Everyone didn't say that. A lot of the people. The Rockets well, said that. <laughs> well, kind of like the, Lake, kind of the Lakers I think everybody said, w wait, what? Yeah. And I think the Rockets made a big case at the start of the season from Daryl Morey and Mike D'Antoni on down. Wasn't the quote, we're going to be a better defensive team this year? And that... That I, mean, I just I don't un, I don't I don't un, I don't understand what the thought process is legitimately when they sit there and say mm, on second thought no thanks. Well, do you, I mean we we will never know, but because he, they've been asked and it hasn't been directly answered, but there's a luxury tax issue possibly for sure. But no no luxury tax on coaches' salaries, which Jeff Bezdel hopefully pointed and, out. And uh, another thing is luxury taxes were made to be paid when your the window is now. now Their right. window was now. That's not the time to penny pinch.